Chef, I got you a gift. What it is? It's a surprise. First time the chef is seeing it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, baby. There are over 6,000 species of crab on Earth. Oh. All of them delicious in their own way. It's blowing my mind. The Alaskan king crab seems to get all the attention. $400. It's so expensive. Well, I say, there's a new king in town. It's so big. Bigger, badder, and even more expensive. <laughs> I can't lift it with one hand. Today, I'm very excited because we are taking on one of the most expensive crabs you can find anywhere in the world. A crustacean that can grow up to nearly 40 pounds. The Tasmanian crab. Probably a crab species you've never even heard of. After paying over $700 just for this one crab, Whoa. we'll see a top Japanese chef prepare it four ways. You eat this? No. No, absolutely not. It's too weird. Let's go. It's very rare to find this creature, and luckily today we have by coming here. Right now I'm standing in a place that does importing and wholesaling for seafood from other countries, or I should say oceans from around the world. The amount of seafood here is ridiculous, but beyond that, all of it is premium, high-end, very expensive seafood. I'm telling you, even if you got your whole stimulus check, you still couldn't afford a whole crab here. Altogether, if you add up the price of every creature here, it's over half a million dollars for sure. Imagine having a business where all your inventory could die. That's insane. So it's high risk, high reward. Before we go right to the crab, I want to show you around this place. Let's take a look. After arriving here, most of the seafood will only last seven days before it dies. This whole hallway is basically lined with these giant tanks full of really cold, frigid water. They're trying to imitate the natural environment of these creatures. Crabs, lobsters, these are bottom feeders hanging out hundreds of meters down on the ocean floor. It is very cold there. It is also very cold here. Holy cow. Try as they might to extend the creature's lives, there is no place quite like home. Are you kidding me? Even a Canadian lobster that could live 50 years on the ocean floor might only last five days here. Look at its crazy mouth. That's a mouth only a mother would kiss. I'm told this is only around $365. That's, I know that seems expensive. I know that's a PlayStation or an Xbox, but that's not that bad. If you go to a restaurant, they're gonna pump that price up two or three times. Down here, king crab, even more expensive than this Canadian lobster. Oh, you also have a kissable mouth. Hey, they only have seven days before it's gonna die. If it dies, you can't sell it for the same amount of money. Yeah, you can sell it for less. A whole big batch of gooey duck. I know, when you write it out, it looks like geo duck, but somehow it's gooey duck. These are like a big snail, and it looks like a big... <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got a little excited. Big respect, huge respect. Oh my God, making me insecure. Most of the seafood here comes a long way to get to Vietnam. <laughs> nice. These gooey ducks come all the way from the USA's west coast, but get shipped all around different parts of Asia. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm five years old. Or maybe not. 12? Yeah, 12. Then there's this guy, the Tasmanian crab. So most of mankind has never even seen this thing. Found exclusively around Tasmania Island in Australia. It's only now with modern fishing techniques that we're able to reach down and pluck one of these guys out. It's hanging out back here, but I have a water ring. This guy is quite comfortable living over half a mile under the sea. I can't lift it with one hand. A depth that even sunlight cannot reach. <laughs> as far as its face goes, probably the most handsome, kissable still, kissable lips. Like their cousin, they feed on slow moving species and whatever falls from above. This guy right here weighs in around 11 pounds. Now, they get way bigger than this. They can get four times this size. From here, we're gonna head to a Japanese restaurant where they're gonna be cooking this guy up in four different ways. And I'm gonna try the world's largest crab for the first time. Let's go. Let's do it. Rolling, ready, and go. Chef, I got you a gift. What it is? It's a surprise. Welcome to Fume Restaurant, offering premium Japanese cuisine. This is Chef Shozo. Last time we were here, he was showing me the art of preparing salmon roe. Today, he's doing something a bit more experimental. See, the chef here has never actually laid eyes on a Tasmanian crab. Are you ready yeah. to see? Three, two, one. 
Oh. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, baby. He's still alive, just chilling, literally. He's on a bunch of cubes of ice. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my god. I bought this crusty crab from the wholesaler for $780. So cute. So cute. <laughs> yeah. Now that is a stimulus check well spent. How much of the crab will you actually use? Maybe 100%. Yeah. Wow. I don't know how much we'll meet in here. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know either. Maybe it's filled with tapioca pudding. <laughs> this restaurant and this chef are no strangers to seafood. Oh, it just died. Ugh, I'm not meant for boiling water. But Mr. Shozo definitely did not expect a crab this size. Luckily, he mostly seems to have the right tools for the job. So the first part is pretty easy. The joints are not that thick. He's moving on to the small claw. Oh, you work with precision and ease. Now, the big boy. Wow. This is so interesting. You know, usually like a king crab would get more orange when you cook it, but this guy has just become colorless. 1.3 kilograms. Wow, that's really heavy. He's gonna open it up. Whoa, that is gnarly. This section, all this, this is the gills for breathing. And the gills take up a lot of space, maybe because it's so deep in the ocean. Maybe it needs bigger gills to absorb more oxygen. This is all conjecture, really, I have no idea. And then here, crab soup, kind of like a crab stock. That'd probably be pretty good if you put some salt and other fun ingredients in there. But from here, he's gonna get started with our courses. Cooking time? Yes. All right, let's get to it. I have no idea what the chef will prepare today with my precious. I'll let the food speak for itself. He breaks the oversized claw open using everything but the kitchen sink. Oh my gosh, very hard. And then, alas, oh. it's free from its thick shell prison. This is both of our first time trying the Tasmanian crab. <gasps> <laughs> oh. oh! You can see the way it breaks apart, it's kind of a grain to it. The way it all grows in one direction. And you dip it in some of this panza sauce. Mm. Wow! <laughs> that is really good. Mm. Yeah, very good. Oh my god, you could be allergic to seafood and still appreciate this. Warm, sweet, soft, perfect, delicate texture, not like chewy or anything like that. Oh man, I'm happy. I can go home now. This is just the start, a great start. I can't wait to see what else you've got in store. Hopefully a little bit more cooking. With the prized claw now devoured, our second dish borrows from the crab legs. But this time, with a Japanese touch. He makes sushi, including seaweed, sushi rice, wasabi, crab meat, and then salmon roe. I wholeheartedly accept. This is better than an engagement ring, am I right? So here, it's just like a beautiful little Japanese taco, if you will. The thing is, you gotta eat this quick. This can't hang out for a long time. The seaweed's gonna get soggy if you wait too long. Already, it's too late. I've been talking too much. Mm. Oh man, they're so delicious. The crab meat is just so juicy, sweet. Going with the salmon roe is adding even more richness. And finally, some wasabi, so you taste it up in your nose. My God, this is beautiful. It's a great way to really present and use the crab leg in a style that's simple, straightforward, but not easy, not easy at all. Oh, that's awesome. Can I have one more? One more, okay. It's my show, I can do that, right? Dish three, moving on to body meat. Half its butt is grilled on charcoal. Then the meat jumps into this clay pot with roasted Hokkaido rice and scallions. It's made with a mixture of sake, soy sauce, orange fish dashi, and tuna dashi. Course number three. Oh my gosh, there's so much crab meat in here. Thank you, chef. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Oh, it smells so fresh. The body meat I find to be usually really sweet and juicy, it's even have a little bit more fat to it. But the thing is with the body is it's a huge pain in the butt. It just takes so much time. So even after grilling it, he has to carefully take this tool, reach inside of each little crevice and peel out each little piece of meat. But here it is, a dish with only about three ingredients. I'm gonna try it out right now. Enough talking, she is. Got some real pieces of shell in that one. Mm, super interesting. The rice itself has a lot of flavor to it. The crab hasn't been doctored up a lot, so there's nothing super sweet or salty or powerful to go with it. Otherwise, there's nothing crazy, just mild and pure. And a good amount of shell. He only used about half the body meat, and you saw inside that big noggin, it's full of delicious crab meat. 
Maybe my head's full of crab meat. My stomach is. Last but not least, the crab ensemble. Everything merged into one. The soup comes from its body, then meat from the normal-sized claw no one cared about, and even meat from the claw's finger. Or is that a thumb? All that goes back into the crab's head. Finally, place the head and all its contents over an antique traditional Japanese grill that was made over 11 months ago. Last, garnish with scallion and dried red chilies. Yeah, right? It's wild. I mean, it's got a face. I can hear the charcoal crackling like I'm beside a campfire in the middle of summer. Meanwhile, up here, it's like a crab stew using all crab parts, basically. But what's really special, I was wondering why early on when he opened the crab head, he did it upside down. And that's because this is a very smart man. Thank you so much. Beautiful. If he opened it the other way, all the liquid would have fallen out. Right now, the main flavor enhancer he's using, what he calls the crab brain itself. Basically, all the fat and Maybe it's a brain. Do crabs have a brain? It can't be that big, but it's a really big head. I don't know. Whoa, that is so intense, so flavorful. Soft, succulent, juicy. It's all being flavored with that head juice. All that that's kind of boiled down is just flavoring all this meat. It's so powerful. I mean, one bite of this will make you feel like every other piece of crab you've had your whole life has been stepped on. You know, like if you have drugs and they're like only 10% pure, this is 100% pure. The stuff that gets you sent to prison for life if you get caught. But we're not getting caught. Because <laughs> we're going to eat the evidence. Sometimes when buying really expensive seafood, it feels worth it. And sometimes you feel like you got a little bit screwed out of your money. This one today, yes, very expensive. But I got to say, I feel very fulfilled. My mouth is happy. My taste buds are singing. My stomach is, uh, is smiling from ear to ear. Yes, I have ears on my stomach. It's a birth defect. I don't like to talk about it. It was really satisfying to try it, made in so many ways, and by such an experienced, skilled chef. Shozo, my man. Yeah, Shozo. Namaste. Hair starts on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. Course number three, this time, Chef Wayne. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, 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 I thought that was falling. Uh, can we share the price? Oh, I pay yeah. half. Maybe we could sell this to somebody. <laughs> moment by moment, we're getting closer to our... Um, as we go... Let's go upstairs. In just a second, he's gonna scoop it up. So that's our video. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Oh, peace. Next time I'm gonna eat a polar bear. A whole polar bear. Oh, I can't wait.